This is part two of configuring port security on HP Commerce switches. So as you can see on the screen, uh, this is part one. <clears throat> oh, so I talked about this like yeah last uh, June twenty third. Uh, I want to make some a little correction because I I think I said that. Uh, you can specify. I mean, I was trying to uh, configure the stick, sticky uh, parameter on the port, but actually, I learned that port security um, port mode auto learn is the command that is equivalent to port. I mean, switch port port security Mac app is sticky on. Uh, Cisco devices or Cisco switches. So that I just wanted to, you know, uh, to correct that. So yeah, I'm going to uh, configure a a port again on the same switch. So I've got a I've got the same topology. So basically, you know, uh, I have a stacked core switch, uh, two physical switches, and switch one, switch two, they have uh, bridge aggregation connection to bridge aggregation ports connected to the uh, core switch. And I have a PC that is connected to switch one on gig 101. So you are just going to focus focus on switch one. So let me open my terminal to switch one. So as you can see here, I'm actually already on the port. So the port is like I said, gigabit Ethernet one zero one. So this is it's basically a uh, an access port and this is you know the uh, port connected to a user so this is actually a router I'm just uh, I just configured it as a uh, PC or a host <coughs> So let me actually do a display, display, display again. I mean, display this again. And let me, I think I verified this before, but let me do a question mark. All right, so bridge is layer two and route is layer three, ethernet. So that's, this is basically saying that this is a layer two port. So that is correct. So, let me crypt and go to my procedure here. This is basically uh, a configuration that I got from these websites. So here I got, well, it's not the same, but you know, this is where I got the, the configuration. I just uh, changed a little bit. I mean, a few configurations and this is a long version of the procedure but I have already prepared the configuration like what I did uh, when I did that part one video so let me go to the terminal again <coughs> Can I do it here? No. Let me just do that. So it says here I'm already in system view. So this is already in system view. And let me just do this here. Alright, so enable port security. Uh, this is how you enable port security in the system view and next is set the secure Mac aging timer to 30 minutes 
So this is this is how long the MAC addresses will be in the uh, port security uh, table. It's actually in the port security table. Uh, yeah. Security table, where is that? I saw it here earlier. Yeah, because um, when you enable a, the uh, port security on a port, or uh, specifically the auto learn mode, the MAC addresses will not be uh, stored in the MAC address table but in the port security table so I'm gonna show you that a little bit but let me just continue with the configuration so just do that so it says timer value in 30 minutes in minutes so 30 and next is set port security use limit on the number of secure MAC addresses to two Okay. <clears throat> MAC address. Uh, in the. Hmm? Yeah, I have to go into the port. Okay. All right. Set the port security mode to auto learn. So auto learn. So there are other uh, port modes, but in this lab, I'm doing auto learn. Configure the port to be silent for 30 seconds after the intuition protection feature is triggered. So this is basically saying, uh, well, this is how you, you know, uh, you configure the modes, the intuition mode, which is I'm setting it. As disabled port temporarily. Let me do the command again. So here, uh, <clears throat> this is the command. So configure the port to be silent for 30 seconds after the intuition protection feature is triggered. So you actually do it in the system view. And by default, it's 30, 20 seconds. So I'm just setting it as 30 seconds in this case. So 30 seconds. So you can see time more value in 30 se in seconds. So yeah, we're done with the configuration. Uh, now we can verify it. So again, the port is gigabit 101. And we can do this command. All right, so it says here, port security is enabled, auto learn aging time, 30 minutes, disabled port timeout, uh, 30 seconds, Mac move denied, authorization fail online, not configured, port mode, auto learn. So it says here, learning mode is sticky. So I'm actually gonna Later, I'm going to remove the auto learn option. And let me actually do this just to verify that the configuration itself. So, so, here. Okay, next is you can do this command. So, this is just, you know, a lab. It's not really, I mean, of course, this is a lab, right? HCL software. So um, I think it doesn't support the, it's not learning the, the MAC address. I think it's one of the limitations of this uh, uh, software. But in real world, you should see the MAC address here, the VLAN ID state, and the aging time. And next is this is just to specify the port itself 
So this is, by the way, what I was talking about earlier, that the, uh, the MAC addresses will be stored in the port MAC address table, not uh, MAC address table. Uh, and if the you know if the security port security is in uh, uh, port mode auto learn auto learn mode okay and and by the way um, when you are using auto learn mode uh, the the MAC addresses, in this case, two MAC addresses will be saved in the current uh, configuration. So this, this software doesn't support that as well. But this is just an example that you know the MAC address is saved in the current configuration. So this is what uh, you are you should see when in real world. So port security MAC address, security sticky MAC, and be the number. So yeah, so like I said uh, earlier, um, this is just one of the lessons learned. So port security, port mode, auto learn is equivalent um, to the Cisco command um, switch port, port security MAC address sticky. So it says here, you can disable port security, port mode, auto learn if you have a scenario where a user needs to uh, connect multiple devices to the same port. So, <clears throat> if you have a scenario where a user, so if you have a user that, you know, they are connecting multiple user I mean, devices, uh, computers to the same port, uh, it's actually better to remove the auto learn option here. So let me do and remove that. Okay, it's removed. So when you remove that command, um, the MAC address will be saved in the MAC address table, not in the security port security table. So that's the difference. And if you actually, if we are going to do this command again, so port security is enabled, but we don't, don't see that uh, option or section where we see this. So learning mode is sticky. So that's why um, like I said here, this um, you know option is equivalent to that uh, port security MAC address TV on Cisco switches. I mean command to so this command. So yeah, that's the different. That's the difference. And again, I'm going to uh, put the, these links in the description of, of this video. Uh, but I think we're done. Exit. Uh, let me do display current configuration. Let me uh, show you the whole thing. So this this is how you enable the port security again. You know that the the, uh, the uh, how long the port will be in disable. Disabled uh, status when the you know when the intrusion protection protection is uh, feature is triggered. So it's in this case uh, 30 seconds, and how long the this is you know how long the MAC addresses will be learned uh, and stored in the port security uh, MAC address tables. So and in, in this case 30 seconds. I mean 30 minutes. So again, this is the configuration. So here, let me actually put back the 
auto learn mode let's play this again and do that command again so now we see that learning mode is sticky again and MAC address, I mean MAC secure MAC address is 2 so current secure MAC address is again this, you know, this software doesn't support I mean doesn't support learning MAC addresses so alright, yeah, that's it in this video uh, if you enjoyed uh, and you find you found that this video is helpful um, please like the video to support me and subscribe for more videos and i'll see you on the next one